Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an alien planet sort of abstract topology scene. Let me show you what it looks like and then we'll get into it. So this is what we're making right here. We got some lights going on, some interesting shading. If you make this, feel free to send it to me on Instagram. I'm going to link this in the description. You can follow me and see a lot of my other work. And uh, yeah, let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is go over here to this little camera icon and switch to EV. And then for your EV settings, you're going to want to use volumetric, screen space reflections, and ambient occlusion. All right, now shift A, and we're going to go over here, add a plane, and then hit S8 to scale it all the way up. And then we're going to hit tab, right click, and we're going to subdivide it. Go down here to this dialog box and type in 100. All right, now let's add some displacement. We'll go to the modifiers, add a subdivision surface, and we'll add a displace. Click new, this little icon here to go to the textures. Right here, we're going to click clouds. We're going to bring down the depth here. And let's leave this here for now. Let's go back to the modifiers and let's just bring down the strength quite a bit to right about 0.2. Let's go back to the texture and let's change the size to right about that. Now let's right click and shade smooth. Now we got this. All right, let's go to shading. So right up here, click the shading tab. Make sure you have the latest build just for a side note there. A lot of people will watch my tutorials and things will go wrong. That's because I have a newer build with fixed problems. So make sure you have the latest build before you follow before you follow the tutorial. All right, click new. And now we have this principled. Let's hit Z and go to look dev. And then right up here in shading, I'm going to bring the background down so that it's all black and we can kind of see what's going on. All right, so let's add a color ramp right here. Plug the color to the color. Let's add a noise texture. Plug the color into the factor. And then now you can kind of see it affecting our area here, kind of swirling around our thing. Let's add some color. So select the black here, bring up and give it sort of a purple, a deep purple. And then we'll give this a bright orange right about there. And then let's just bring it and then let's just bring in the color amp so we can make these changes a little bit more extreme. And then hit the plus sign to add another one. And let's make it let's make it red, vibrant red. And then let's bring these in quite a bit more to make this extreme. All right, now let's go into the bump. So let's add a bump node right here, plug in the normal, and then plug the noise into the height. All right, now we can see what's going on. Let's, let's bring up the detail on our noise texture, just like that. Now let's go back to shading. So let's bring things this way. There we go. Now we're getting around the area we want. Just fiddle around with it until you like what you see. And I think I like this. So now let's find an interesting composition to where we can put the camera. So let's see. Let's go back to the full view so we can see better. And let's look around. Let's pick right here. So shift A, get the camera, control alt zero, snap the camera to view. And then let's bring it out a little bit. You're going to hit G to just sort of move it around. And yeah. All right, now click your camera, go down here to this camera icon, and let's make our lens a bit wider. So in focal length, just bring it out, kind of simulates a much wider lens for those of you who do photography. And then we'll hit R twice, sort of bring it down, kind of like that. Just move it around to how you like your composition. All right, let's go grab an HDRI from HDRI Haven. I'm going to link this in the description, and let's get a sky. All right, so let's click on skies here, and let's go ahead... And let's pick, let's pick Cape Hill. Go down here and click the 4K. All right, now let's import that. So click this little world icon on the color, click that, environment texture, and then open and navigate to where you saved it. All right, hit Z and go to rendered view. Let's see how that looks. This is the HDRI. Let's give it a strength of two. And now we need to add some volume. So let's get our volume object. So shift A and let's get a cube. And then we'll just scale it till it fills up the scene just like that. And then we need to scale a little bit more to pass up our camera. So right around there, that looks pretty good. Now 
make sure your box is selected. Let's go over to the shaders and add a principled volume. So right here, principled volume. Now it's not working correctly, it's just a black box. I don't know why Blender doesn't have this by default. So go to your shading. Right here, the principled volume is plugged into the surface. It needs to be plugged into the volume tab. And so if you go back, now you can see it affecting it, but it looks really, really bad. Let's bring our density to 0.2 for now. So that's our density. Now we need to go to emission strength. There we go, so it's too much now. So we need to, it's 0 0.1, so let's put 0 0.03, 0 0.04. That looks about right. Let's put our density at 0 0.1. Now we have some pretty nice volume. Let's, we're gonna play around with it a little bit more, but let's add our lights. As you can see in my render, I added a light here, 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 and here, just to add some interest and make it a little bit more alien looking. So let's go ahead and add a point light. So now we got our point light, you can see it over there. Click here to move it. And let's just bring it, let's see right about there is pretty good. And let's give it a purple color. And now let's duplicate this. Maybe put it right there if we can see it. All right, let's move it this direction. Right there looks pretty good. And we're gonna make this an orange color. That looks pretty good. So right now, I don't like the lack of contrast in this scene, so we're gonna go over to the color management right here in your EV settings. Color management, switch to very high contrast, and then bring down that gamma so we can get some good contrast, but we don't lose all of our volume back here in the, in the back. And I'm gonna bring my camera up just a little bit. The great thing about this volume is you can't tell that these really stop back here in the distance. So I'm gonna bring my volume density back to 0 0.2, there we go. And so now you can't see the end of these hills, but you do see the hills here. So let's go back to the shading and I'm going to click on our object and bring down the strength of our bump just a little bit, make it more realistic rocks. And then up the roughness a little bit. Just add some realism to what we're playing with. Now let's add one more light, kind of put it in this region over here, maybe right behind there. So we'll take, click on the rock, duplicate it, and we'll put it right, right about there. That looks pretty good, right in this region. And then we'll make that one, let's see if purple looks good on this. Yeah, so now we made this. I think this is a pretty good composition, very interesting. Let's go over to our render settings. So this little icon right here, Keep it at 1920 by 1080, or you can change it obviously, but I'm gonna keep it at those settings. And your samples, and your samples, leave them at 64, and you would go up here to render, render image. And there you go, there's your alien hills. It's really cool, I'm super proud of this design, I hope you enjoyed this. So there you go, you made an interesting topographical render. If you make it, send it to me on Instagram, I'd love to see it, and thanks for watching.